today I'm going to teach you how to mod F1 2016 liveries. Now, first thing you're gonna need is the NVIDIA Photoshop plugin. You're gonna need to install it and um, get it on Photoshop, as you can see there are NVIDIA tools. That's gonna allow you to actually open them up. Uh, you can also use Paint or GIMP. And I'm pretty sure those don't actually need a plugin, but I'm using Photoshop, so I'm going to teach that. Then you're gonna wanna get to a site. Uh, you can see the URL there. I'm gonna leave it in the description as well. But you're gonna need to get the Ego ERP Archiver here. You're gonna need to click on it and go to this site here. You're gonna wanna download the most recent version. Uh, I already have one here. Um, so, what you're gonna wanna do is obviously install it, and then you're gonna wanna open it. You're going to also want to set the F1 2016 directory here, uh, through settings. It's gonna make this easier for you. Then, uh, you're gonna wanna head it to your Steam apps, uh, path, um, you're gonna wanna go through your Steam folder, then Steam apps, common F1 2016. Then asset groups and vehicle package. Then you're gonna wanna select teams. Uh, let's see, what are we gonna mod here? Well, I'm working on a, a Toro Rosso mod, so I'll open that one. Uh, so you're gonna wanna uh, find the ERP file and you're gonna wanna open it. Then you're going to want to search for a uh, your team decal uh, .tga. That's the file you're gonna wanna edit for the decal. As you can see, this is already edited. This is a Red Bull Mobile skin I'm making for it. And yeah, uh, then what you're going to want to do is export the file through here. Uh, you can find some folder for yourself. Uh, I have a modding folder here, so for example, do that. I already have one there, so I'm not gonna export it. Uh, and then you're also going to want to pick up this paint file right here. Uh, that's just if you want to do a recolor of something, uh, and you're going to want to get the paint file because uh, the decal only uh, has the sponsorships. Like uh, you're going to only have the logos and uh, things like that there. The paint itself comes from uh, the different paint file. You can also export that find some folder for it and then what you're going to next want to do is go to Photoshop and click open you're going to want to go to the, your modding folder well let's open up the uh, decal and the paint file from the Toro Rosso I'm making uh, yeah sure and yes yeah, sure um. now then when editing the decal let's say you want to put in an Audi logo here what you're going to do is you're going to uh, find an Audi logo. I have one here. And you're going to. I use a place command. You can open a separate file and do whatever you want. But let's say I want to replace this logo right here with an Audi logo. What you're going to do is uh, just put it on top of it. Then you're going to come in here, take your brush tool. And you're going to take the black color, just black and go over your uh, decal here and then now you have the Audi logo there but what you now need to do is update the alpha channel now if you go into channels and enable the alpha channel you see the Red Bull decal is still there and the Audi decal isn't fully visible what you're going to want to do is blacken out that uh, Red Bull decal then you're going to want to select your Audi decal and fill it with white for the uh, alpha channel. Then now, let's say what you just want to do is save it as. You're going to, I'm just going to make a new folder quickly. And then what you're going to do is you're going to choose the format EDS here. Then you're going to have to add in the .tga there. That's important. Then because it's a decal file, save it as a DXT5. That's important. You need to uh, have it with the alpha channel. Then save it. Then what you're going to want to do is... I'm just going to skip this one there. And 
what you're going to do is you're going to back go back to the ERP archiver here find your decal textures import and then you're going to go in and find your file and you're going to import it in the game you're also going to want to uh, replace the mipmap. This should come up automatically for it if you set the directory. You're going to save it, you're going to replace it, and now you have the Audi logo there. Then what you're going to do is you're going to save it and you're going to overwrite the ERP. Like that. Then let's go in game and see how it looks. So now we're going to uh, time trial to try out the Toro Russell here. Yeah, uh, which we just modded. So let's see here. Uh, go on a flying lap, take some full car camera, and there you see an Audi logo. And uh, now this is obviously a heavily modded Tomoroso anyway, but you see an Audi logo there. Now obviously that's not perfect, but that's just a quick mod, uh, and you can do that very easily, like. It causes no problems with the game. Uh, it doesn't even stop you from playing multiplayer. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you want any more F1 2016 tutorials, I'll gladly help you guys out. Bye.